Hello. Food Tubes is a cutting-edge, computerized new freight transport system designed by engineers, physicists and business executives to save carbon dioxide and to cut global warming. It is inspired by the huge cargoes of oil, gas and water transported daily through large diameter pipes. Europe has 300,000 kilometers and the US has 500,000 kilometers of such large diameter pipes. These are installed under towns and cities and even under seas and lakes. They transport water, oil and gas with low cost and little pollution all day, every day, silently and invisibly. Similarly, food and consumer goods can be put into lightweight cargo capsules electrically propelled by linear induction motors at high speed and sent through pipelines. Underground circuits will be installed with the latest no-dig technology using mechanical moulds to burrow underneath roads and buildings taking the shortest routes. The cargo capsules are a metre high and two metres long. A heavyweight champion boxer, for example, could comfortably recline in one but we don't envisage human passengers. Each capsule can carry up to two tons. They don't have any motors being propelled by the linear induction motors which are embedded in the pipes. In contrast, today's road lorries are 40 feet long and weigh 44 tons. They use 92% of the diesel they burn just to move their own weight and only 8% to move the cargo. Food Tubes reverses that ratio and only uses the 8% of energy. It is 11 times less polluting and it is silent. The borough of Croydon, London, England, with 130,000 homes and 100 food shops, is interested in Food Tubes to tackle their daily traffic gridlots caused partly by 700 food vehicles a day. A 100 kilometre pipeline circuit from a transfer depot on the nearby London Ring Road, the M25, could be built using modern no-dig technology, automatic moles to bore out the route for the pipes. There is no need to dig up the streets. Once installed, the circuit will last for 50 to 100 years with hardly any maintenance. The 100 km Croydon circuit will have 400 terminals, that's inlets and outlets, to supermarkets, small shops, offices, colleges and schools, and to waste recycling plants. All such circuits will be linked, and the capsules are electronically addressed front and back and computer controlled, like an internet data packet. So we call food tubes the transport internet. A cargo capsule enters at any terminal, say at a farm or food factory, and is automatically delivered to any other terminal, usually in a supermarket. Food tubes cost about one twentieth of the maintenance costs of motorways or throughways like the M25. They are far cheaper than roads and railways of the same capacity. A typical cargo capsule will be charged at about $5 to transmit. Empty capsules will travel free. Even at this very competitive price, food tube circuits still make 70% profits, about 24% return on investment year after year. Food tubes just carrying food will replace 25% of all freight traffic. Add the other suitable consumer goods and it will take 50% of lorries and vans off the roads. Urban streets will be noticeably quieter, safer and cleaner. Road damage is mainly caused by large trucks. Resurfacing, which causes most traffic jams, will be greatly reduced. Food tubes put the, puts the goods underground and frees up the open roads for people. If installed across the UK, food tubes will create 60,000 sustainable jobs and a major export industry. 
Food Tube's funding. We have created the concepts and designed the business system over the last four years. It now needs a full-scale demonstration circuit planned by the Food Tube's engineers at a pipeline testing site in Northern England. It will be built above ground for easy work access. It will cost about seven million US dollars, which, compared to spending on street layouts and traffic schemes, is small beer. Investors and industrialists should email noel at noelhodson.com.